Wow, you're one of the first NPCs to actually annoy me. Haha, <laughs> die. Oh no, what happened to the die trader? Did he leave? Hello friend, are you an NPC lover just like me? Well, I hope you are, because I love my NPCs so much that I just love to shower them with pain and misery. Isn't that fun? I've been going around building them happy little torture chain, I mean, uh, relaxation rooms, because they really deserve it. Our very first guest for today is someone that lots of you have been excited about. We finally have the ever-popular zoologist. Hello there, pretty fox lady. Oh, these years? Haha, <laughs> totes better to hear you with, my dear. Oh yes, better to hear my sweet, sweet words of verbal abuse, right? My older bro calls me a lycanthrope. It means I'm like, part animal or something. He'd know though, because he spends all his time outside. My small brain can't really comprehend where the link between those two sentences are, but I guess that means you stay at home every day and never go out? Well, that sounds strangely familiar. Maybe I'm a lycanthrope too. Or just a piece of corn somewhere. I love animals, like, a lot. I tried to pet this weird looking fox one time, he so bit me, and now I became like one. Rad. Since I'm wearing a mushroom hat, if I bite you too, does that make you a mushroom lady? Well, can I bite you? Our lovely fox lady also transforms during a full moon. Roar, roo, danger me, ra. Come on there, use your words like a grown-up. But I do admit, those are pretty dangerous. Our dear Astra doesn't like the desert and doesn't like the angler. But at the same time, she also hates the arms dealer a whole lot. So now I'm in a dilemma. Should I put her in the icy cold tundra with Dominic? Or should I put her in the smoldering desert with supreme loser minion? Well, I'll think about it. But since I'm here, how are you doing, Lisa? Haven't seen you since the first episode. What even is Oten supposed to be? I don't know, but lots of my Filipino viewers have said that Oten means PP pee -pee in their language, so I guess that's your answer. What about you, Esmeralda? Doing horrible in your anxiety-inducing spider cave, I hope? Tea, coffee, or just orange juice again? Can I have you? And what about you, Nancy? Enjoying the icy cold? Hey, Zuzu Mage, did you just come from... turds? Did he say anything about me by chance? He said that you guys should break up. Real sad. Why won't you love me? I've decided to place the zoologist next to the angler because she doesn't particularly hate the ice biome. Also, no one can stand the angler. Since Astra is half animal, I guess I should make her a house fitting for an animal. One out of hay, I suppose, so she can sleep anywhere on the floor. Let's go with a box shape because she doesn't deserve anything better. Simple-minded animal, simple-minded shape. Okay, I changed my mind. I'll build her a nice barn-like structure. You have to keep your animals in proper barns. It keeps them warm and safe, and trapped. Of course, remember to give your animal barns a nice dynasty wood finish. The zoologist will be here for a long time, so this is probably all the wood she can ever get. If you didn't know this, the zoologist loves animals, so what better way to decorate than to use unfortunate animals trapped and confined in glass structures? A seagull that's far from the sea, a goldfish in a bowl too small for its comfort, and an insect that will never see the outdoor world ever again. A few lovely explosive bunnies to remind Astra the horrible things Terraria players are doing to precious little animals. More trapped glowing insects as wall lights. Some bunny banners to showcase how inhumane we are. Heck, let's throw in penguin and goldfish banners as well. And a bunny cannon as proof that the explosive bunnies are not just for decoration. And now the pièce de résistance. What better way to celebrate animals than to have a bunny statue continually spawning happy little bunnies? I've placed this wonderful contraption on echo blocks so it can be seen from below. Wire it up to a quarter second timer, and it's complete. I'm sure the zoologist will love this. 
Oh, whoops. I almost forgot the lava bucket. Ah, yes, listen to that. The symphony of animals, the gift of life, the really nice, warm welcome for these lovable creatures. How therapeutic. I'd honestly love to give these bunnies hugs. But I think this will have to do for now. Hello, Miss Furry. Stop pulling on my tail, bro. It's totally real and like, totally hurts when you pull on it. Ooh, would you like to pull on mine? I absolutely love having my own place to myself. It's like weird having instincts and all, and the desert really makes me want to run away. I don't think you can run away from this pres resort. I don't think you can run away from this resort. I don't like how cruel Tyler the Angler is. Really? Tyler the Angler is cruel? Perhaps you change your mind after seeing this. How do you like this, Astra? Do you like the reign of bunny? Parts? I may not know like a whole lot, but I can talk your head off about nature and critters and animals and wildlife and stuff. I don't know a lot too, but I too can take the head off nature and critters and animals and all. What a wonderful glorious day for building resorts. Look at all those beautiful butterflies. And hello sir, Mr. Kani. I bring you the richest colours in exchange for your riches. Well, the colours you offer are pretty drab to be honest. But do you have transparent? I could use that for, um, certain purposes. The only kind of wood I would bother dyeing is rich mahogany. Dyeing any other wood is such a waste. Wow, you're a pretty open gold digger. My dear, what you're wearing is much too drab. You absolutely must take a lesson in dyeing your tired attire. Okay, you're starting to annoy me. You're the first NPC that has half triggered me. So you get a special treat. My dear, I think your life is much too drab and useless. Perhaps you need a lesson to light up your boring life? Doesn't this just spice things up? Oh no! What happened to Kanmi the dye trader? Did he leave early? Oh, hello Jack! About time we got a barkeep around here. Me rum was almost gone. Yes, yes. Welcome to, um... Resort NPC, where we have the best service and all the rum you can have. What in blazes are ye talking about? Moby Dick is mine. Yeah, you can have it. I've got a whale of my own. Our lovely Redbeard doesn't like the stylist, and I'm too lazy to think of where else to put him. So I'll give him a wonderful house in the ground. A magnificent vessel, a ship capable of sailing the seven seas but stuck in the ground so you can't even try. With a sturdy foundation complete, what's a ship without a high quality sail? This will help pick up the wind, if there even was any. Some glass walls to actually trap him in this tiny cave, and a nice table to enjoy all the rum he wants, if he can even get any that is. The best quality steering wheel made from high quality wood, so he can pretend to steer the boat around and some lanterns for light. I'm feeling good today after welcoming Kanmi, so I'll give Jack his very own treasure chest, filled with useless things like dirt and the banners of his fallen comrades to remind him of his dead crew. How's it going, Captain Jack? You know me don't like that Esmeralda the stylist tries to cut me beard. Mm-hmm. Your unhappiness is my delight. What in blazes are ye talking about? Moby Dick is mine. Like I said, mine is way more of a whale than yours could ever be. Well, what do you know? The dye trader has moved in again. Oh, and it's Kanmi once again. Welcome back. You left in such a hurry the last time. My dear, what you're wearing is much too drab. You wanna go again, huh? I have a bottomless lava bucket, and I'm not afraid to use it. The pool is still right there, you know? Yeah, that's what I thought. Kanmi is probably the only NPC that I seriously want to imprison. Since he loves saying how everything is so drab, I'll give him drab. Nothing screams, I hate an NPC, more than giving him an actual box house made of wood. We have come full circle now. He deserves no amount of effort from me. He doesn't even deserve wood walls, dirt is all he gets. The most basic chair to face the wall. 
and the most basic table ever. In fact, I think two torches is way too good for him. So all he gets is one. A single guide Picasso, because I hate you. And nothing else. Hello, you elitist pleb. Me? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yep, that's all you get. Fine. You know what? I changed my mind again. He hates the pirate, so I'll shave his plebeian house underneath the pirate ship. A reminder that he's always going to be below the pirate. There we go. Same boring design. I truly truly hate how unsavory Jack the pirate can be. And I truly truly hate how much of a prick you are. Let's move your torch to this bottom corner here, so that the room is as dark as possible. Enjoy your stay at Resort's NPC, and make sure you watch out for lava, which, I don't know, can come at any time now. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too for more NPC love. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and join the all new Zuzucorn Discord server, link in the description below. Remember to pick up some Zuzucorn merch if you can as well. This has been Zuzucorn, have a nice day, and have a great week ahead. Bye bye!